and and oh that's nice man no that's you gonna make me cry man that's 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 nice to know um that's nice to know <laughs> I thank you that, but I, I do want to want you to feel good about you know walking out of that house with your head held high or your banana held high is <laughs> <laughs> my stem held high <laughs> Uh, is that a banana stem or you just happy to see me? <laughs> oh, my God. So I'm guessing that you had that eviction uh, speech planned. I started working on that speech, uh, but between again, between the three of us and the Internet. Um, I found out Sunday night. Uh, I got word that he was planning on putting me up. And, again, I think I'm the only person in America who realized, who, who didn't realize that I was going up. And so I made my way up to the HOH, and I'm talking to him. I'm like, yo, bro, we still down with the plan? He was like, the right man will go up. I said, well, I said, that's Ronnie, right? The right man will go up and how Jesse is and he, he with his dramatics. But um, And I said, well, it sounded like it ain't Ronnie, bro. The right man will go up, blah, blah, blah. And he proceeded to tell me that I said this, and I, you know, I was watching out the athletes. And I was like, dude, all I said was that, you know, the athletes are winning stuff. They're strong. Somebody else needs to win something. But I realized at that point that I was going up. So from 11 p.m. till 6 in the morning, I laid in my bed till 6 in the morning formulating that speech. Come about Tuesday, I had the idea. I was like, you know what, maybe I can swing the votes. Maybe I'll, I'll can that one and I'll do the typical, oh, I just want to stay. You know, I think it's been great meeting you guys and all you guys are awesome. And, and uh, you know, if you just keep me, I, I, I want to play the game. And then I was like, nah, man, my homie's back home, man. My wife would cuss me out. If I went out the house looking like a punk, man, you know, I got people back home in St. Pete, man, in, the, in Tampa Bay that, that would have been upset with me if I went out like a punk, you know. Uh, my, the speech had two, and I'm sorry if I'm rambling. Am I okay? No, you're, you're fine. fine. The speech had two purposes. One was to... Educate them folks, man. I really was trying to call on the carpet their manhood, their womanhood, their egos. You know, I mean, you are being herded, folks. You are doing what the, these dudes are playing, y'all, like they little video games, man. Like the chess set upstairs, you're being moved around like pawns, and eventually they're going to sacrifice you for their own good. Number one, know that. And I thought that might turn the votes. That being said, I knew I, knew I needed five votes. I thought the most I could really get was four, and even if I got four, Jesse would send me home. So I said, I'm going out guns blazing. You know, he did some nasty stuff to me. Ronnie did some nasty stuff to me, man. You can call it gameplay if you want. I thought it was over the top. I thought it was uh, dastardly. You know, I, it just was unnecessary. And, um, you know, you can play the game and win competitions, get rid of people without stabbing them in the back. And maybe I'm naive in thinking that, um, and I think I certainly have been naive uh, on several fronts. But, um, no, man, I don't think Jesse's the smartest dude in the world. I think Ronnie's a dork. I think Jesse is not the – if he hosted some kind of show like this, it would it – was, it was, what does paint drying sound like? Because I think that's what it would sound like. <laughs> yeah. Um, Can I just tell you, Casey, that the, the, a lot of people think the way you think. Go ahead, <laughs> Um, and that's what I thought. I really, I was like, you know, me and Jeff were sitting there. I don't know if y'all thought. We were like, dude, are we taking crazy pills? These people following this dude and worshiping him and making his lunch and folding his socks and, and, uh, and you know, and rubbing him down all the time. I mean, he's got a good body. Good, man. You know, and, and dude, I, I live in Florida. You know how many good bodies there are at the beach, dude? You ain't the only one. But me and Jeff would just sit there and be like, dude, where are we, bro? I mean, it was, it was. It was bizarre world, man. It really was. I'm sure it was, especially when you have Lydia going off on you for, like, no reason. Lydia, Lydia's, uh, let's see, how can I put this? Lydia's form of debate or winning an argument is volume. You know, she's real thin-skinned. She wants to be able to say, and I, 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 just, I won't say hate, I dislike people like this, that they want to be able to say whatever to you they want to say, but if you say something to them, then they go off. She doesn't argue slash debate with you based on facts, um, uh, rational thought. She thinks that if she just yells louder than you, then she'll be right, you know. So, you know, uh, Jay-Z, and now that I'm out of the house, I can say it. Jay-Z got a line of song, man. He said, uh, uh, old man once told me, man, uh, never argue with a fool because people from a distance can't tell who's who, you know. <laughs> I, I didn't want to argue with a fool, man, because people might think I'm the fool. 
I don't think anybody's going to accuse you of that, Casey. Well, I mean, well, again, well thank you. Well, I, you know, and again, I'm not really still. I have the feeds and everything, and I'm not really sure what Jesse's motive was for getting you, uh, you know, on the block. I, I, again, do you have an idea of how this came about? You know, I don't, and I don't know. Having not having seen it and stuff, I don't know if I was the uh, if I was the target the whole time. Um, either A, I was the target the whole time, and I don't know why. Or B, what my opinion and uh, and uh, reflection has been was that you know he had five options as a replacement nominee: Ronnie, who he made a deal with; um, Shima, Lydia, Kevin, me. Now those other four, the first four I mentioned, were on his quote unquote side of the house. They were on his side, and I was the odd man out, so I went up. But again, you know. From week one, we shook hands. No, we're going to watch out for each other. Week two, no, we straight dog. He won the HOH competition, and I don't know if you can rewind that joint, but he won the HOH competition, gave me a little pound. You know, we was kind of trying to keep it quiet, I thought. You know, I mean, I had literally, the sum of the stuff I said about the athletes was to throw people off the scent of me and him being, you know, cohorts. And, you know, after he won that competition, we shared a quick pound. was like, you know, yo, he's like, no, dog, you're good. You know, gave me the pound, and I, was, and I figured I was good. And, and so I took a stupid margarita party that nobody enjoyed. I mean, I guess if you get a margarita party and the HOH doesn't drink, it's, it's not real valuable. <laughs> <laughs> Had you stayed in the house, Casey, who would you put up if you won HOH this week? My threesome, and you always got to have three. You got to have two, and... Uh, uh, you know, a back chaser. I'd have put up Ronnie and Jesse with Natalie back. Perfect. You know how you have like a shot. With, you have like a shot with a coke back. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm a teacher. I forgot. I'm not allowed to do that. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't get knocked out of here in front of the in front of the nation, man. Utterly, utterly ridiculous, Casey. And you know what? It, you didn't even have to defend yourself to to that. That was absolutely ridiculous. But uh, I did want to ask you if you were aware that Russell is the new HOH. Um, I did hear that, and I'm curious to say, and good for him, man. Um, Russell was beginning to stretch himself a little thin, I thought, so he really needs this. Um, I think he was becoming a target because he was trying to align with everybody. Uh, somehow that doesn't affect Ronnie, but Russell it was beginning to affect. Um, I think if I had to guess without seeing the show or anything, I mean, I, I heard that he made a deal with Jeff and Jordan. I think he will probably stick to that just out of the sheer fact that he has targets ahead of them. Um, he, Lydia, and Kevin have been at each other all week. Now that they are not um, uh, clickmates, Jesse and Natalie become immediate targets ahead of Jeff and Jordan. I think Michelle and Ronnie are definitely targets ahead. I think uh, of the, where well, there's ten of them, so there's nine. I think Jeff and Jordan are seven and eight tops, with Shima being number nine. They've become all snuggly. I talked to somebody that didn't know that they were all snuggle, snuggle, man. They've been... They've been, I don't know, I don't know what they're doing, but they, they're doing a lot of touching. Hey, see, before you leave, could you give us a little, um, a little uh, song, The Banana Man? A little chorus. <laughs> you want the reggae remix or the, or the, or the original sad version? No, we, we want, want the remix. remix. <laughs> the, 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 the original was, Man in a banana suit. <laughs> Man in a banana suit. Reggae remix one time. Man in a banana suit. 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 Suit, 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 suit. Come down. Yeah, that's nice. Awesome, Casey. We do need to move on, though. All right. I will talk to you all later. Casey, Thanks, what a Casey. treat. Thank you so much, and we hope we have an opportunity to talk to you again, and good luck with everything you do. I will reach out to you all later on. Take care. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.